The biggest fear I have today around AI agents is, let's say I've spun up an agent that can call my calendar. Mm -hmm. Well, maybe it can create events and edit events, but does it really need delete? When it comes to working with APIs, what are some things that you actually look for when it comes to assessing security? Well, I, I think there's the, in the security space, there's always kind of the cliche answer, but I still think it's one of the most uh, fundamental pillars and it gets into inventory. Okay. You need to be able to know all of the APIs in the ecosystem, whether they are in development, staging, production. And so you need to know all those APIs and it's obviously um, part of the mission and part of why I joined Postman is it does a very elegant job of pulling all that together for you. Yeah. And have you seen like certain risks when it comes to security? Security is such a big aspect of modern development. A lot of people care about, you know, how their APIs are stored, how their secrets are stored. What are some things that you've seen on, on that front? Uh, it's a pretty big space. Uh, I'd probably say the first thing to focus on, and this is common what you'll see in like the Verizon Data Breach Report and other, and other um, analysis out there, is identity and authentication and authorization usually get messed up first. Mm -hmm. And so I'd say first focus on making sure that you use OAuth 2 with JWT tokens everywhere. Um, and if you're really hardcore, you're working like in a federal environment, then obviously OAuth 2 and uh, MTLS to ensure that only that machine has a certificate on it that you communicate with. But I'd say just nail that. Mm -hmm. And if you can nail that, you've already bled down a lot of risk with like basic off floating around your environment and other things that would typically be considered very insecure. All right. And I know at Postman, you know, we're working with a lot of different APIs. How do, how do developers keep their APIs secure? I think that there, there's a big mindset shift that needs to happen and something that we've I think we've nailed here at Postman uh, in our development practices is normally the security team will sit off with their own tooling to evaluate the security posture of your APIs and then they will lob Jira tickets back to the developer in order to go remediate those problems. But um, what we've done a really good job of is integrating a lot of our security checks directly into Postman itself mm -hmm. and then hook that into our CI CD flow. Mm -hmm. And then your builds pass or fail based on the security checks that we actually run. Right. Um, more often than not in the security space, um, I'll pick on an example tool, which is a fantastic, uh, fantastic pen test tool, uh, but it would be like Burp Suite. And we'd say, the developer would say, I'm done. They'd hand it over. Now the security team would run off with Burp Suite in order to assess that tool or that um, application that the development team has built. And instead, I'd say, how do we get closer and closer to the developer where they can run those security checks while they're doing all their functional testing anyway? Right. So that's kind of the secret sauce that we've been really working on really hard here at Postman for a lot of the APIs that we build. Right. And there are a couple of security features that I've seen, um, like Secret Scanner, our vaults. Anything you can share on that front? Yeah, I, I, I think this is a common topic particularly around Postman, is the handling of secrets. Mm -hmm. And I think with the secret variable type we have really focused on masking uh, secrets and Vault really doing what we would consider traditional secrets management with um, any secret type manager, such as like 1Password or HashiCorp Vault or even our own Postman Vault, is shifting a lot of the practices that people have been using with variables into the vault itself and really reminding people to use that as the best practice. Um, but that's really kind of the direction we're going and where we've been investing pretty heavily. Cool. So when it comes to development, we all want to think about speed and developing APIs faster, developing products faster. Where do you think security plays in a role in that? Should it be one of the first forefront um, things that developers should consider when um, creating APIs and applications? Well, I'm a little biased. Mm -hmm. uh, I think security should be integrated across the entire life cycle. Mm -hmm. um, but I'd have to say it, it could start ideally at inception when someone's thinking about what they want to build and having those conversations with their security team. But it should definitely permeate into using specs to ensure that APIs are built well mm -hmm. and working continue to work in ways across the entire ecosystem into... Um, security tests that are integrated into your CI CD pipeline, all the way out to even getting real time monitoring into your APIs mm -hmm. um, with any platform out there. Although we've just announced Insights, so I'd say that's probably a great way to get insight into the performance of your APIs, but also the security ramifications of it. Um, so I'd recommend that 
but there's lots of other tooling in the space that can potentially help you as well. But then you have kind of the full life cycle of your API and, um, and insight into where security issues could crop up. All right. So last question for you. Um, so what are some security best practices that you think developer teams should start adopting? Well, I'd be remiss if I didn't say something about AI first, because okay. that is the topic du jour. Um, I would say probably the biggest fear I have today around AI agents is the permissions that you have within the MCP servers that you spin up. Mm -hmm. uh, example being, let's say I've spun up an agent that can call my calendar. Mm -hmm. Well, maybe it can create events and edit events, but does it really need delete? Mm -hmm. Maybe that's an area where I really want a human intervention, but I want calendaring for everything else. Right. And so maybe that's an area where I think we need to be more cautious about and we need to get more visibility and insight to manage that risk better. Mm -hmm. um, but that would be kind of be my classic uh, default AI answer. I still think your classic uh, broken object um, uh, authorization problems are probably the most common in APIs. OWASP has warned us all a million times. We have not heeded their warnings. Um, but that would be where I would double down from a traditional standpoint and make sure that my APIs are solving those problems first. All right. One sentence. How can developers better secure their API if it was one thing they sh should start thinking about today? I'd say start with a spec. Okay. Develop a spec. Either reverse it engineered from your collection. Oh, damn. It's three, that's three sentences. No, no worries. But I would take a collection and generate a spec mm -hmm. or start with a spec-driven development first, and that'll get you a good, secure baseline from the get-go. Awesome. Well, thank you so much, Sam. You've given our developers some really great insight into security, what things they should think about. Um, do you have any final things you want to say just to kind of wrap, wrap us up? No, I, I think where the platform's going and as we're looking at security holistically across it, I think there's a lot of good things to come. And uh, there's been a lot of investment made that is really going to help um, harden your development, but try to reduce as much friction as possible for your development organization. All right. So reducing frictions, keeping security at the forefront of the API lifecycle and um, creating using it to sort of drive your development those are some of the takeaways that i got from this convo so thank you again